There's police sirens outside. Oh no! They're gone. I think. I saw them off, making sure they were out of sight before darting away. I hid behind a thick shrub, peeking just over the top to watch a crowd of Imperial soldiers march on. Smith, Smith! <laughs> they advanced slowly but surely. The increasing pace of their steps fell into an uneasy rhythm with my accelerating heartbeat. I grew nervous, wondering where Yamazaki Sun had been. With an upward glance, I held my breath, hoping to find him perching on some branch. Like a burb? A burb? A burb? Just then. The Imperial soldier never finished his sentence, which was punctuated by a blood gurgling, gurgling cry. A strong breeze came from the east, and with it flew, flew the soldier's head high into the air. Jesus Christ! Oh shit! Before I could blink, another soldier. <laughs> Before I could blink, another soldier spewed blood from a fresh slit slice across his exposed neck. Hey, that's a sentence to say. <laughs> From a fresh slit across his exposed neck. Saga <laughs> Terror covered the face of every soldier in the Imperial troop. Ayamazaki san pulled their strings with the bellow of his fearsome voice. From afar, I had the perfect view of him, though he was hiding in plain sight. The glow of Yamazaki san's crimson eyes radiated sharply as he sat. Perched on a branch, on a branch above the soldiers. The sight alone was enough to send chills crawling down my spine. It was like a sun blended into the forest on command, nimbly slashing at the soldiers' necks before piercing their hearts, tearing their flesh asunder with steel. One by one, the blood-soaked bodies of the Imperial soldiers hit the ground with a resounding thud. Every time my eyes caught sight of Yamazaki-san, he was followed by a ribbon of cascading blood gushing from his fallen foes. I stared in abject horror, curling my toes every time one of them would utter a ghastly shriek. Suddenly, a Shinsengumi warrior emerged beside the fray, clutching his hand tightly over his chest before collapsing on the ground in front of me. Hey, can you hear me? I'm an ally. I'm here to help. Can you recognize me? Oh no. You're not looking well. We need to get you to safety. Yamazaki-san! What was that sound? Musharna. Oh. Huh? I got a uh, get the Pokemon Cries thing on here. Yamazaki san spoke dismissively, not even bothering to turn and face me while he spoke. Instead, he fixed his hateful gaze upon the corpses of his enemy, wrapping his mouth into a menacing grin, which prompted me to say, SAVE THIS MAN'S LIFE! 
Please. What? Are you serious? No, you're wrong. Killing people only... Mm, killing people should only serve as a means to protect the people you care about. I felt my throat tighten in <laughs> soreness as I shouted. I can't shout that loudly anymore now. I took myself by surprise, never having thought myself capable of yelling as loudly as I did. No matter how many men you slay, if you aren't able to keep your allies safe, then it's all for nothing. Mizaki-san, what are you fighting for? Tears filled my puffy eyes by the time I finished. In the past, Yamazaki-san had always been the first person to express concern for his injured comrades. But before my heart was moved by how sensitive and caring Yamazaki-san had been, I found myself perplexed by his current state of mind. Yeah, that's a... that's a... probably do because of the water of life! It chatted me to think he was losing touch with himself, so I needed to get through to him. Mizaki, I can barely hear that line. God damn the mixing in this game. <laughs> yeah, mizaki sons eyes dropped down to his blood-stained hands, and slowly the madness within them dis dissipated. The moment was utterly short-lived, however. I flinch as I saw Yamazaki-san pounce back into the grip of Imperial soldiers. Eerie sounds of bone snapping followed soon after, causing me to grimace. His uniform was drenched in fresh blood, making me realize nothing I said could ever get through to him. Oh, not the scary music. As he promised, however, Yamazaki-san made No, a not the scary me. music. <laughs> Yeah, so one of them uh, kind of makes you uneasy. As he promised, however, Hamazaki yeah. made a quick work out of the Imperials. In spite of my best efforts, the wounded Shinsengumi warriors succumbed to his wounds, and I saw the glimmer of light leave his scared, tender eyes. As I lifted my head, I couldn't help but gasp, catching sight of the gruesome mountain of humans who remained scattered along the dirt. The one who was responsible was a fury huffing in a dank coat of blood. It was me, Dio! God fucking damn it. He had thrown his mask off from his face, his lips curling into a wry, satisfied smile. In no way had Yamazaki san seemed disturbed by his actions. On the contrary, he was taking great pleasure. Yamazaki-san. They're all... Stop it! Yes. But I've also spent almost four years in the company of the Shinsengumi. All might be fair in war, I'll give you that. Sometimes we are driven to extremes that we never saw ourselves capable of achieving. That... I'm keenly aware of. But to show no mercy as you slaughter helpless men... That's just... <laughs> But Damare Oh I was petrified. 
Feeling Yamazaki san tapped the underside of my chin with his cold sword, still dripping with the blood of those that had slain only minutes earlier. Oh shit! Yeah. The air. I. Yeah, I just seen the thing. Mm -hmm. The air thickening like mist with the blood's foul, rust like order, order, odor, which only seemed to worsen Yamazaki san's pronounced lack of compassion. Something sinister lurked behind his ravenous eyes. It was animalistic. Like his instincts were focused on nothing aside from finding prey upon which to feed. Yamazaki-san, the one I knew and adored, was slipping away from me. No! Is give him blood. Give him blood. I could bear it no longer. With gritted teeth, I grabbed a hold of his katana's blade and I slid the sharp edge against my hand. An audible gulp squeak squeaked. Gulping for squeak. An audible gulp squeaked from Yamazaki son's eager mouth. Damn, that was really high pitch for him. Holy shit. <sighs> Without a second of hesitation, he tugged my arm closer towards him and wrapped his mouth around the open wound on my hand. His tongue flicked in and out of my cut, painfully digging it deeper underneath the skin. But with my blood, Yamazaki-san's suffering would ease, and that was enough for me to persevere. I took solace knowing I could keep him sane. Rather than descend into depravity by taking the lives of others, he could sip and consume my blood. Something frightened me. It was as though I enjoyed the idea of being used, but somehow, if it were Yamazaki-san doing the deed, I felt more special. After it felt as though an eternity had passed, at last Yamazaki-san began to resemble himself again, letting the sword fall from his hands before speaking. <laughs> No, don't listen to Kazuma's words, damn it. No! Alright, Shade, you ready for some more chomping? <gasps> Nom! Nom. Nom nom om nom. <laughs> Again, it was a duosion, so it was just like. Oh, God. <laughs> More jelly. It was a duosion, oh, man. My heart broke for Yamazaki san, whose forlorn eyes drooped listlessly. In order to com 
comfort him, I said, Nothing can change who you are. Mm. Nova, you loser playing Phasmophobia. Jeez. Oh, my lord. Mm. <laughs> like it or not, you're a fury now. When you're hurt, your flesh will heal. You become a white haired creature with a taste for human blood. But you must understand. You and I aren't much different. My body regenerates itself too. I also cannot afford to live a normal human life, whatever that means. Well, I had no desire to drink human blood, but I meant And to another nom. I meant every word that I said, and with a smile, I took Yamazaki son's hands hand and pressed it gently against my cheeks. Manu. The softness and warmth of your palm, whether you're human or a fury, or if I'm a demon, nothing can change that. Yamazaki son's mouth was agape, and his eyes started stared at the ground speechless. I decided to give him a moment of reprieve. Reprieve. In this moment, perhaps he had needed words of comfort. Instead, I glanced at the darkening sky, collecting my erstwhile thoughts. Akona's son been able to escape safely. Saito-san, Harada, Nagakura, Shimada. All of the men who were willing to give their lives so that we could protect Kondo-san. Are they alive? Yeah, they're all dead! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Yamazaki, sir. Let's go. We need to rendezvous with the rest of the Shinsengumi men. We picked ourselves back up, dragging our heavy feet through sanguinary... Sanguinary? What? Sanguinary muck. When all of a sudden... Oh no, I don't like the all of a sudden... And this word that's giving me trouble. <laughs> oh, great! Exactly what I wanted. Large trees shook as two figures scrolled towards us from the shadows with paralyzing stares in their eyes. It's the bitch. I was sweat with deja vu, being taken back to the day that Yamazaki said had consumed the water of life. こんなところで出くわすとは、こいつらとはつくづく悪縁があるようだ。なぜ貴様らがここにいる？勝野間の戦に参戦していたのか？いいえ、今回はあなた方と直接方向を交えてはいません。ですが、先ほどの戦いぶりはしっかりと見せていただきました。山崎と言ったけど、どうも俺の見込み違いだったよ。ここまで羅折に落ちてはもはや哀れみすら感じる。It was Kazuma. It was Kazuma the whole time! <laughs> Kazuma unsheathed his sword, spreading his feet into his stance before Yamazaki-san responded in kind. I cut my hand over my mouth, fearing that Yamazaki-san stood no chance against them alone. It was up to me to find a way to stall them. Just as the thought crossed my mind, Amagiriya stretched his muscular arm, halting the two warriors from crossing blades. Kazuma. <laughs>彼らを殺すつもりですか構うことはない。雪村の娘はともかく、この男が死んだところで。我々の目的を忘れたのですか。ああ、he's <笑> putting his では
かかってきなさい新選組観察型山崎進む後悔するなよ天切り救助 Victory went to the warrior who struck first. Without breaking a sweat, Yamazaki san chucked his kunai forward, which Amagiri effortlessly deflected. Before Amagiri could catch his breath, however, Yamazaki san had already bolted inches in front of him. Yamazaki san aimed a flurry of blows at Amagiri, trying to strike his opponent's vital points without much success as Amagiri parried every attack. Amagiri anticipated the path of every swing and was adept enough to block the sword with his bare hands. He was no stranger to Shinsugumi, having beaten Saito san and Heisuke in the past, which made him one of their most formidable enemies. Yamazaki san bent forward, prepping himself to lunge before his pupils flared in dilation. He kicked at the floor, disappearing into thin air. It was impossible for me to track his superhuman movements with the naked eye. All I could follow was the whistles of the wind against the tree branches he'd fluttered upon. <laughs> Sorry! Yamazaki showed no signs of faltering, smacking the blunt edge of his blade forcefully against Amagiri's shoulder. Amagiri ni jigeki o ireru to, izen yori mo sara ni hayaku na. Kekai wa shite ita tsumori desu wa. Yosou no sara ni ue o ikuto. All of us were in shock watching Yamazaki put pressure on Amigiri as aggressively as he did. As Amigiri's fist cut through the air like a hawk, Yamazaki san responded with a well timed slash across the foremost rib cage. As Kazuma had suggested in the past, however, his heightened speed was a double edged blade. To compensate for the enormous toll his powers were taking on his body, Yamazaki san's lifespan actually diminished with each instance. When did we learn this? <laughs> When did we learn this in this route? We haven't. What? Quack. Huh? Okay, hold on. I'm writing this down now. What the fuck? Go in the pile. Over I there. mean, I would too. <laughs> A typical human foot would have likely been ripped apart by the sheer velocity of Yamazaki san's movements. But this is nothing. But the the But this did nothing to face him. <laughs> Shades, more psychic types to eat. Shamaがたまをさげるのならば、手を貸してやらんこともないよ。冗談が過ぎますよ、カズマ。Amagiri whipped his bloody lips, wiped his. Mm, Amagiri wiped his bloody lips with the back of his palm, quickly raising his guard again as he got into stance. Rasets no chikara o kou mo tsukai korasu to. Kore nara senjin no tai ga zenmetsu shita no mo unazukimasu. Tozen da. Ima no ore nara ba, ano teedo mono no kazu dewa. Kanchigai shite iru yo desu ga. Ima no wa home kotoba dewa arimasen. Once more, Yamazaki san put the full weight of his body behind his attack, but Amagiri hadn't even flinched. He remained, oh, completely, no. <laughs> he remained completely still, speaking in an icy tone of voice as he continued. The 
That much we know. Wait, we know? N what? Every fury eventually develops a craving for blood. Wow. Okay, so not about the blood thing. ラセツが行くら人外の化け物といっても傷の治癒も凄まじい怪力もそれ自体は人間の持つ能力の延長に過ぎませんたとえば傷の治癒ならば人間の体が数年かけて引き起こす自己治癒を数秒数十秒に
Masaki-san. I wrapped my arms around his blood-soaked body, muttering his name under my breath. I had no rebuttal. Yamazaki san and Heisuke fought their hardest to retain their humanity, but every other fury eventually descended into depravity. So they were clearly the exceptions to the rule. They clearly didn't have your blood to sustain them. But in this bitter war, they were, they were being wielded as pawns, agents of destruction pitted against one another. If ever we were able to maintain a period of peace, however, and the war comes to a screeching halt, what purpose would these beings have? Would there even be a place for them? そしてあなたにとっては辛い報告となってしまいますが、あなたの父親雪村コード、彼はこの羅雪の力を広元に巻こうとしています。What? My father? ええ。はい。この計画が進めば、この地の人間は半数が羅雪。残りの半分は羅雪の食料として飼育されることになるでしょうね。奴は鬼の一族でありながら、まがいものの鬼を作り、鬼の一族を滑る者として決して許せん所有だ。<笑> Even during my extended stay with the Shinsengumi, obtaining any information about father was next to impossible. Kazuma and Namagiri were the last people from whom I expected to learn any sort of update. He was a member of the Shinsengumi. So your goal is asking the Shinsengumi whether or not they want to reach war against my father's legion of fury soldiers? Shinsengumi wa dono michi kono mama rekishi no tsuyu to kiyeru ni. Nara ba jibun tachi ga kakawatta chikara no ato shimatsu gurae sase temo kama umai. Cosmo smiled wryly before turning his back to us. Before Cosmo could walk away, however, an enraged voice called out to him, prompting him to stop. Zakiruna! Yamazaki cursed! <laughs> Yamazaki son barked dust. The best boy cursed? He cursed. The first time he's cursed like that. It was like his unbog dusting his shoulders as he rose. He spat out a mouthful of blood and stuck his sword into the ground to support his weight.気に触ったなら謝罪しましょう。ですが時間の問題なのは間違いない。残酷なようですが、あえてはっきりと言わせてもらいましょう。新選組は負ける。そして歴史の中に忘れ去られる存在だ。Yamazaki san and I gasped, uncomfortable with a truth neither of us had ever been willing to admit. Lewis? Amagiri's startling admission shook me. On the other hand, Yamazaki san nodded silently.
あの時も言ったはずだ。闇を恐めるべき人間はここにいると。うん。あなたが行動と戦うと、たった一人でですか。奴が抱えているラサツは十や二十ではありませんよ。He's not alone. He's got me too. If my father's responsible for this madness, then as his daughter, it's my duty to see that he's stopped. Wakati, Asets no Moto Tatsto Yukotoa, Yukimura Kodo, Koroskotoni, Hokana, Omaini Chichiga Koroser. Well, Orenga Yaru.今の言葉全てを信じたわけではなく、明かりごとの可能性は否定でき。だがもし必要だというなら、その時は俺がやる。いいだろう。どう転んでも我らに損はない。行動は今も新政府軍の中でラセツを生み出し続けています。そして新型ラセツの実験のために新たな戦場に向かうでしょう。新戦組の行く先と一致しているということ。ええ。では、ご分を祈ります。With that, the two demons melted into the fog. Just as quickly as they appeared, they vanished, and I scanned the whole area to ensure they were gone. Was it just a dream? An ominous premonition? No, it wasn't. Looking at Yamazaki-san's tattered body and the soreness in my fingers, I gather that all of it was very, very real. If what Kazuma and Amagiri said were true, then my reunion with Father would be soon, but I wasn't sure if it would involve the intimate welcome that I was wishing for. <laughs> 